In the Gospel, Jesus often parallels the images of light and darkness. And the prophet Isaiah reminds us that Jesus was the light shining on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. And that powerful imagery between light and darkness is good for us to ponder. Because, unfortunately, the power of light is only useful if we recognize that we need it. A light switch so serves us rather no purpose if we don't recognize that the room is dark and actually turn it on. A light bulb is of no use to us if we don't recognize how dark it is and flip the switch. So it is with the light of Christ. It is only when we recognize the power of darkness, the power of sin, that unfortunately dwells in each and every one of us, that we can activate that light, that we can welcome that light, and allow the light of Christ to dispel the darkness of our hearts. For no matter who we are, saint or sinner, sin is a reality. And it's only when we face up to that, it's only when we recognize the darkness that dwells within the depths of each of us, that the light of Christ can truly change us. And those words of Isaiah can truly come true in our lives as well. Jesus came as a light shining in the darkness to those who dwell in darkness and death. It is Christ, the light of the world, who dispelled sin and darkness in our lives. But that can only happen if we're, welcome, if we're willing, rather, to welcome him into our hearts. This is Father John, and we hope to see you soon here at Ascension.